um this one has to be the most challenging one however let's find out first um okay let's start by analyzing the statement again um 2000 rand is invested into an account which offers an interest rate of 8%. So here is my solution. Then first of all, we need to write down the we need to write down the let, let's draw our timeline. This is for a period of eight years, so this is T8, this is T0. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There. Okay. So this is what happens. This is what happens here. 200 trend is invested. 200 rand is invested, 2000 rand I mean is invested into an account which offers an interest rate of 8% compounded quarterly. Then two years later, so one, two, that is here, it is two years later. Some change has been made again. Then two years later, so from here to here, um, the interest rate is 8%, which is compounded quarterly. So it is 0 0.08, 0 0.08 over 4 quarterly. This is my interest rate so far. Then an additional 1,000 rand is was deposited into an account so here they added another thousand rand so another thousand rand was deposited then again from here four years later now two years later an additional thousand rand was deposited into an account was deposited in an account two years later a thousand rand okay we have already recorded recorded that one i think i should erase this money from here let me at least write it here plus two plus two two or plus one thousand plus one thousand into an account then four years later the initial investments that is from here from here one two three four then here another change was made then the interest here is still zero comma zero eight over four this is 0, 0,08 over 4. Then, um, four years later, the initial in investments, the interest rate increased to 4.5%. 4 I mean, to 10.5. So, four years later, the interest increased. So, the, in the interest increased there. Or from here all the way there so one two three four the interest here was um, 10.5 is the same as it is the same as 10 over 10.5 over 100 which is 0 comma 105 0 comma 105 divide by compounded per month divide by 12 so in conclusion 
the timeline helps us um, analyze the statement. It helps us analyze the statement and that's all. Let's go to another slide and calculate this. How? Oh, okay. So we want to find out the money that um, this guy will be having after eight years into his or her account. So let me copy this tape. I mean this timeline. Let me copy this timeline and plug it here and plug it here. Then, what is it that I have done? Okay, let me copy again this timeline and make it a little bit small. Let me plug it here. So we'll use the timeline now. We know that the guy here, A, this is the formula. We have been talking about it. A is equal to, so P in this case is the money invested at first. At first, we invested this 2,000 rand, this 2,000 rand. So we have 2,000 rand, 1 plus. So the interest rate have been 0 0.08, all divided by 4, all raised to the power, the first two years, compounded quarterly. So two years times four quarters then here i will have a equal to i will have a equal to 2000 so here i get 23 43.31 so another 1000 rand was added Another 1,000 rand, 1,000 rand was added. Same day was added. Therefore, I have my A equal to 33,043. Seven six two. So now this is the money that I have at T2. I need to find out the money that I have at T4 before the interest rate changes. So before the interest rate changes, I need to erase to make some more space. I need to erase to make, why don't I just increase the number of slides um, let's use that one it's okay let's use this one it's it's okay um, where is let me pick some black color now so a is equal to p into 1 plus i all raised to some power n um, I think I should use this white slides every now and then so a is equal to so our this is on our case p is equal to i mean we will take this a and make it p um, remember we are on t2 so we wanna go from t2 to t4 so let me say okay what's this number it is three, three, four, three point three one, 
0.8762 into 1 plus then i there is no change in, in, in our interest rate so i is still 0 0.08 all divided by by four quarters then we raise that to another two times n so two years this is another two years plus four quarters i mean times four quarters then we punch our calculator and see what that is one plus 0 0.08 over 4 all raised to the power 2 times 4 remember there are many ways to kill a cat so you can do this using the other method and still get this uh, and still get the same answer as as mine so 3 9 1 7 point 23 0 seven nine one okay then now this is the amount we had uh in the first four years so they said now four years after the initial payment or four years later the initial payment um the interest increased so let's do like this Let's do like that and say um, four years after um, initial payment, we have A is equal to P1 plus I raised to N. So we have A equal to, so this here is now my P in this case. So I'll have 3917. Point twenty three zero seven nine one into one plus I in that in this case now since there has been a change in interest I will be ten point five which is zero point one oh five so I have zero point one oh five divide by it's compounded per month, so divide by 12. All raised to the power. Since now, this is four years later and we are focused on the period of eight years. That is, it's eight minus four, which is four. So my n here is four times, times 12. A is then equal to you take this and punch it all on your calculator you will get the final answer so let's check what do we get 1 plus 0 0.105 divide by 12 and raise that to 4 times 12 what do we get we get 59.50 oh my god let me fix my writing a little bit we get a equal to 59.50 point 99.31 99.31 i'm not going to write other numbers therefore Therefore, A is approximately 59.50,99 cents. This is the final answer. Whew. Yeah, this one was the longest, I guess. Anyways, don't forget to um, I hope you enjoyed. Ooh.